Atlas II was a member of the Atlas family of launch vehicles, which evolved from the successful Atlas missile program of the 1950s. It was designed to launch payloads into low Earth orbit, geosynchronous transfer orbit or geosynchronous orbit. 63 launches of the Atlas II, IIA and IIAS models were carried out between 1991 and 2004, all 63 launches were successes, making the Atlas II the most reliable launch system in history. The Atlas line was continued by the Atlas III, used between 2000 and 2005, and the Atlas V which is still in use. Topic. Design Atlas II provided higher performance than the earlier Atlas I by using engines with greater thrust and longer fuel tanks for both stages. LR-89 and LR-105 were replaced by the RS-56, derived from the RS-27. The total thrust capability of the Atlas II of 490,000 pounds force, 2,200 kilonewtons, enabled the booster to lift payloads of 6,100 pounds, 2,767 kilograms, into geosynchronous transfer orbit (GTO) of 22,000 miles, 35,000 kilometers, or more. Atlas II was the last Atlas to use a three-engine, stage and a half, design. Two of its three engines were jettisoned during ascent, but its fuel tanks and other structural elements were retained. The two booster engines, RS-56 OBAs, were integrated into a single unit called the MA-5A and shared a common gas generator. They burned for 164 seconds before being jettisoned. The central sustainer engine, an RS-56 OSA, would burn for an additional 125 seconds. The Vernier engines on the first stage of the Atlas I were replaced by a hydrazine-fueled roll control system. This series used an improved Centaur upper stage, the world's first cryogenic propellant stage, to increase its payload capability. Atlas II also had lower cost electronics, an improved flight computer, and longer propellant tanks than its predecessor, Atlas I. Topic Versions Topic Atlas Two The original Atlas Two was based on the Atlas I and its predecessors. This version flew between nineteen ninety one and nineteen ninety eight. Atlas IIA Atlas IIA was a derivative designed to service the commercial launch market. The main improvement was the switch from the RL10A33A to RL10A4 engine on the Centaur upper stage. The IIA version flew between 1992 and 2002. Topic Atlas IIAS Atlas IIAS was largely identical to IIA, but added four Castor 4A solid rocket boosters to increase performance. These boosters were ignited in pairs, with one pair igniting on the ground, and the second igniting in the air shortly after the first pair separated. The half-stage booster section would then drop off as usual. IIAS was used between 1993 and 2004, concurrently with IIA. Atlas 
Topic Background In May 1988, the Air Force chose General Dynamics now Lockheed Martin to develop the Atlas II vehicle, primarily to launch defense satellite communication system payloads and for commercial users as a result of Atlas I launch failures in the late 1980s. Led by lead engineer Samuel Wagner, the Atlas II was crucial to the continued development of the United States space program. Atlas IIs were launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, by the 45th Space Wing. The final West Coast Atlas II launch was accomplished December 2003 by the 30th Space Wing, Vandenberg AFB. California. Topic specifications General characteristics Primary function, launch vehicle primary contractor, Lockheed Martin, airframe, assembly, avionics, test and systems integration Principal subcontractors, Rocketdyne, Atlas Engine, MA-5, Pratt and Whitney, Centaur Engine, RL-10, and Honeywell and Teledyne, Avionics, Power Plant, 3MA-5A, RS-56, Rocketdyne Engines, 2 Pratt and Whitney RL10A4 Centaur engines thrust 494500 lbf 2200 kilonewtons length up to 156 feet 47.54 meters 16 feet 4.87 meters high engine cluster core diameter 10 feet 3 04m Gross liftoff weight, 414,000 pounds, 204,300 kilograms. First launch, February 10, 1992. Models, 2, IIA, and IIAS. Launch site, Cape Canaveral AFS, Florida. Topic. See also Comparison of orbital launchers families <laughs>